This week, Lab TV travels to a Navy research lab in Dahlgren, Virginia, to meet a scientist and an engineer who help design really big vehicles called MRAPs. They keep Marines safe while they're out on missions. It's all about the person. So the service members that drive and ride in these vehicles will be in them for hours, sometimes days at a time. So it's important to consider that this is really where they'll be living. So it's the quality of the air, comfort, things like that. Dr. Foley and her team designed the inside of the vehicles to fit Marines and their gear using a science called human systems integration. It's about designing products based on the needs and abilities of people. It's important to consider the human in the design aspects because the human is ultimately going to be the one that interacts with the machine. They study how people will use a product and they consider all of the aspects of the person called the human factors. Things like size and strength, hearing and sight, even emotions and intelligence. Every commercial product that people use, every car that you drive, every toothbrush that you brush your teeth with, human factors are involved. If you take a toothbrush and you look at it, the handle is specifically designed so that it's easy to use, comfortable to hold on to, and there's research that goes into that specific design even though it seems like just a simple handle. When designing a vehicle it does start with an idea, all those ideas go down into requirements and then into a model on a computer screen. We take a model of the vehicle that already exists and we make our models to fit into that so we can try it out virtually and see if it actually does work. And the sunglasses aren't probably necessary, but we wanted them to look cool too. They have to figure out how to cram people and equipment into the MRAP vehicles and have them fit every Marine, from the smallest to the largest. We've got additional plating armor on the front of them so we can remember that just because they fit, their body fits doesn't mean that all their gear will fit also. So when we're doing an operator station, this is our average guy sitting in a chair and he's got a joystick here and it's also got a monitor. And so where the human factor stuff comes in is how far should the monitor be from him so he can still reach it but also see everything. Shannon provides the human factors research data, so Molly knows how to build the model. And we fit those people into the model uh, to see that they'll, they'll fit, so that we can design the equipment ahead of time and then move on to prototypes. Engineers start with a problem. Then they investigate and brainstorm for ideas. They come up with a plan and create drawings and computer models. Then they build and test prototypes before creating the real product. The most important element is the human who will use it. If it's something that you don't fit in or it feels uncomfortable, you're not going to want to use it. And so then all the time that you spent designing this you know, super great part, if no one wants to use it, you've wasted your time. We'd like it right in front of him so that it's comfortable, slightly lower if possible. Okay. But at least so that he's not looking up at it. Engineering is about common sense and practical stuff, but then it's also about the, you know, imagining what could be possible. So, I mean, these vehicles, instead of having the seat sitting on the floor, I think they should be floating somehow. But I haven't come up with anti-gravity yet. In this Lab TV show, a scientist and an engineer use human factors and the engineering process to design vehicles that fit perfectly.